The following segment is sponsored by American Veteran Air Conditioning. Let me know. Welcome back. Spring cleaning is probably already on your to-do list, but keep in mind your HVAC equipment can also benefit from some spring cleaning to be ready for the warmer weather. Sean McGraw is here from American Veteran Air Conditioning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Margaret. Thanks for bringing a prop. Yeah, I know y'all love props. <laughs> what is the first <laughs> thing on the spring cleaning checklist? On the spring cleaning checklist, you know, this is the time of year people start putting bark out in their, you know, in their yard and everything else and, mm -hmm. and are really trying to make their yard beautiful and all that. One thing that is important is making sure that you're maintaining clearance around your AC unit is a big deal. So while you're cleaning shrubs, generally I like to see for airflow coming across here at least two feet away from your AC unit. Another thing that I find a lot of problems with, uh, usually coming in early spring, is with all that bark that people put up against their house and make, it looks wonderful. but if it's covering up the drain hole coming off your AC unit and it's plugging that, it's not able to drain anymore. And that becomes a big issue when it backs up into your house and starts flowing into your ceiling. So we want to check the AC's drainage hole, make sure that that's not blocked up. Absolutely. Um, also checking and replacing your furnace filters and your AC filters is absolutely crucial when it comes to proper maintenance. What do you want people to know about that? It is. And we get ask that question a lot how often should I change my filter and my response is generally the same when it's dirty mm -hmm. so you know like my house I have a bunch of dogs in my house they're running in and out we love our dogs but unfortunately they do clog up that filter pretty quick so my filters get changed about every two weeks mm -hmm. where somebody else's might last a month month and a half before they need change but just taking a glance of there um, it needs to be filtered in there you don't want a really high efficiency filter we talked about that before that's blocking the airflow mm -hmm. uh, because the same thing will happen is with that air filter is if it's dirty. So uh, making sure that system can breathe is crucial. And you know, you, you led into this debris and clutter piles up over the winter time sometimes, but you really need to get that mess away from your AC unit. If not for the way it looks, but for the way your AC unit needs to breathe, right? Absolutely. It just, like I said, it, you know, we, we come out on maintenance and I'll literally, we'll find trees growing up through the through the AC I bet unit. you're looking at that homeowner going, <laughs> this is, well, you know, that's what you do. Yeah, if you don't know, you don't know. Right. So, but keeping that cleared off around there, it doesn't just make life easier for me, it makes that system operate efficiently. Yeah, <laughs> make sure your plants and weeds could be encroaching on there. Two feet is the distance there. For people who want their cooling system maybe cleaned by a professional, they can call you right. Will you help with that spring cleaning? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, with spring cleaning, I recommend really a, a maintenance contract with anything. Just uh, I, I look at it as like with my car. I don't just change the oil when I'm ready to drive to Florida or something like that. If mm -hmm. it's all, always maintained, it's always ready to go. But unfortunately, yes, we do neglect our AC system because we don't see it. We just expect it to work. So definitely if it hasn't been maintained throughout the year it, it is a good idea to get out there and, and get it professionally cleaned by professionally cleaned i don't mean just somebody coming out here and rinsing it off with a water hose you can do that yourself um, and it's a good idea too we talked about that before just after mowing the lawn and stuff like that just rinsing the coils off and making sure they're clear but the thing with this is this air this fan on top here is pulling air up so it's it's pulling air through the coil right here so if you come out here and you just push water back through there, all you're really doing is embedding the dirt and debris further in the coil. So what they should be doing when somebody comes out there is pulling the top of the fan off, cleaning out any of the debris and everything from under inside the system and washing it from the inside out and making sure that's, that's all the way cleared out. Generally, if it's really bad, we'll end up having to take the grates off as well just to allow all those grass clippings and stuff that people don't know better. Mm -hmm. and. Get it, get it out of the unit and allow the system to breathe again. And that's the level of maintenance your average homeowner just isn't going to do. Right. You know, I mean, when you look at this system, you see an AC system, right? But when I look at it, I see a really sophisticated piece of equipment that really needs the TLC and professional maintenance on there done, just like I take my cars to the mechanic now. I used to be able to work on cars. I could be looking at a spaceship now and I wouldn't know the difference. So <laughs> You're happy to, to take it to the pros. Exactly. And, and doing business with American Veteran is, is really a, a special thing because of the people you employ and the team you put together. Tell me about that. Uh, I'm, I'm so proud of my team. I love them to death. Um, you know, I look at, we're called to work and you know, it's, it's not made to be a burden on us or anything else. So we, we laugh, we goof off, we have a great time. We, we've got a fantastic culture built up, up around us. 
and yes, we bust our butt at the same time too. So we kind of try to feel that mix. My team is going to start seeing the other side of it coming in here in the summer. I'm sure you know, but it's just that culture that we've been able to build up and, and the and the team that we've been able to have, and it's 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 a great way just to be a witness to other people too. Well, and you've said before, you know, you could train a lot of individuals on these systems, on these units, but you're looking for, for the people who want to work hard, who want to complete a mission. Absolutely. And, you know, we just hired a, a, a new CSR, a new customer service rep, um, Jordan. He was, uh, he's prior service in the Navy. Uh, we're looking for uh, an experienced installer at this point and everything else just to get us ramped up for the summer. And that takes time to build us into the way we do work because yeah. it's a little bit different than, than what people are accustomed to, uh, mainly just because our main focus is you. I want to make sure you're taken care of 100% of the time completely. Well, I know your busy season or a new season coming up as we're starting to, uh, to open up the doors and windows. Anything else you want people to know about spring cleaning and getting ready for that? Yep. Yeah, well, we talked a little bit on there on you know keeping that drain hole clean. This, and I didn't bring the air handler prop, but there's yeah. another piece of equipment in your attic, and um, generally we clean these out on a maintenance or on a tune-up or anything we do. We'll, we'll clean out this whole drain line because what happens is it gets a lot of calcium buildup inside there, and right there, usually where that hard 90 is, it plugs up. And just a simple cleaning, I mean, it could be as simple as pouring some bleach in there and just allowing that to flow through, but keeping that clear solves a lot of problems, a lot of headache in the future. Excellent. Well, maintenance is everything. You can contact American Veteran by calling the number on your screen, 435-0822, or AmericanVeteranAC.com is the website. Sean, thanks so much. Thank you, Margaret. We look forward to having you back real soon. We'll send it back to you in the studio.